Hey guys, it's Dee for Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Virgo for mid-month of November of 2019. Um, if you haven't already, the energy healings are up for the month of November, so you can check them out um, in the on my channel. And also, if you haven't, um, I'm over in Facebook if you'd like to follow me over there. If this is the first time to your channel, let me start with that. I want to say welcome. My name is Dee, and I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I help women heal from toxic relationships through spiritual guidance and divine practices. All right, so let's see what's happening. I also have a special announcement for you at the end of this video, so stick around to find out what it is. Big stuff happening. All right. Let's see, what else is going on for the rest of November? Actually, this is the card. Here we go. Nice. Okay. So, the overall energy here for you is a lot of movement is what I'm seeing here with the Eight of Wands. This even might be travel. It could be um, just, just a lot of movement. So, you might have a lot of things going on, might be balancing a lot of things uh, for this month, but I definitely feel like it could be a little bit of going too fast. So definitely, you know, take a step back, breathe when you need to breathe. Um, but overall, I feel like this is, this is good. I do feel like it might be a little bit up and down for you. You've got the King of Wands, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, and you have the Star card. So for some of you, um, I, f I feel like you might be taking your, your power back in a relationship of yours uh, with this Nine of Pentacles. It's usually my single card, but with the, King of, with the King of Wands here and the Star, I feel like you might be getting more balance here between um, life and relationship, uh, if that's what it is. Some of you, again, remember these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't, um, but I'm getting like a mix here. So some of you could potentially... No, I don't feel like you're leaving anything. I feel as though, I feel like the king is overpowering this nine of pentacles. So it's all about balance and about knowing, like don't let anybody overcome. And you guys are Virgos, so <laughs> I don't know really how to say that to you guys, but um, because I don't really think you would. But what this is saying to me with the star card is like, you've got the light with inside of you. And we want you to look at that and realize how special you are. And if you're with somebody who doesn't see that, it's just be very aware of that. They're not telling me to like make any changes because you feel like you have to. Like this could also be like a lot of thoughts are going around in your mind and they're telling me like to chill out. Just let it be, it's okay. Everything is okay this month is really your message here. So just know that they just really want you to focus on your light and realize your, how special you are and what you have to bring to this world and what you have to give, okay? You've got the Ace of Cups here, you've got the Hangman, and you've got the Five of Pentacles. So, you know, the Ace of Cups is all about a new beginning, but with this Hangman, with the Five of Pentacles, it's like there might have been some miscommunication, there might have been a falling out, and what I'm feeling like with that is that there could have been some personal feelings about it that might have made you look at it from a perspective. Okay, I'm really having a hard time with this reading. Can you tell me, guys? Can you tell, guys? Um, so tell me what the hell is happening. What I'm feeling like is that you have to realize that other people are seeing things through their projection, through their glasses of their past. So if some, I feel like somebody has done something to you, um, especially with this Nine of Pentacles here and this, this Hangman card and the feeling left out in the cold. So I, we really just want you to focus on knowing that don't take things personal for the rest of this month, all right? Do not take things any personal because it really has nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with the other person and how they're perceiving something. And this could even be with you perceiving something the way that it was, not realizing that you know, their past is one way and that's, that's why they're doing what they're doing. I hope that makes sense. It's like they are seeing through, they are filtering their actions through their past. Okay. So I'm trying to give you an example here. So example like this would be, um, you know, I got divorced, right? So I got divorced and now, 
um, I don't think marriages will ever work. So if you tell me you're getting married, I might not be so happy for you, right? This is not true. I'm just saying an example. But because I'm filtering that through what I've been through, I'm going to look at that and maybe not be so happy for you. And then you might feel that I wasn't so happy for you. And then you might feel like something's up with this relationship, right? But all in all, it's just because I'm filtering something through my past. I hope I got that straight. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing is just a change on perception. But I feel like it's, a, it's on both sides. It's on both sides. That's why I'm getting a little like not feeling like I know what I'm talking about here. But it, it's on both sides. It's like both of you need to change the way you're looking at it and not take it so personally. Now, the thing is, is you can only control you. You can't control the other person. So just realize that that person, whoever, what has ever happened with you and a situation or a person or whatever, um, it is because they are filtering things through their past. They see things, their judgments are all because of their past. Okay, I'm going to move on now. <laughs> um, two of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Empress. So exactly, you are balancing all of this, just like up here. So, you know, this month is all about it's about taking action, but it's about taking inspired action and the right action and not just like a bull in a china shop trying to fix things and break things and just realize, take a breath, count to 10 before you react in any way and really kind of um, and move forward after that. Because with the justice card and the empress, like you will get yours. Karma will be served and it's not your job to serve it. So whatever has happened, just let the universe take care of it and move on with yourself. Be the empress. Take care of you because justice will be served. But it, again, it is not your job to serve it. So, And it's not even your job to wish it. Don't wish it on anybody because you just need to take your power back and start to focus on you and your life. Okay? All right, let's see what other cards we get for you. What other messages do we have for the sign of Virgo? No, let's start over. <laughs> All right, stand your ground. Absolutely, stand your ground. And trust your intuition. Wow, that card's been coming out. Um, but a different card. All right, stand your ground and trust your intuition. So, you know... If you don't want to apologize, then don't apologize. Like stand your ground for what you believe, but move forward with you and trust your intuition. If you, if you think somebody did it because they were shady or because it did whatever it is, like just trust yourself, but then let go and then focus on you and move forward. Okay. So don't think a lot of people say I have to forgive. Um, I don't really teach forgiveness. Ah right yeah I know um <laughs> but I teach letting go rather than forgiveness because sometimes you just can't forgive somebody but you can let go of what they did and it kind of incorporates trust your intuition wow guys trust your intuition what is your intuition telling you you've got two cards and the star here okay so definitely your intuition is calling you your intuition is telling you things Stop doubting it. Stop doubting it. Okay. It's time to focus on you and let, and let that in, open it up, open that intuition up, let go of what no longer serves you and realize that other, like open your eyes a little bit more and be aware and be, um, realize that people are coming from their past and their judgments don't matter because their judgments come from their past. Okay. And then you have opportunity knocks, go for it. So there could potentially be some stuff coming up for you at the end of November. Um, you know, uh, you might be invited to something is what I'm getting for some of you and, you know, just, just go for it. There's a lot of self doubt here. So let go of the self doubt and just do it. Do what feels good to you. All right. Trust yourself, trust yourself. Cause you know, you do know. Your higher self knows. All you have to do is tap into that and, and trust it. All right. So I know that was a little bit crazy, but, um, you know, I hope it resonates with you. You can give me a thumbs up if it does or let me know in the comments below. But my special announcement that I have is that I'm going to be launching a 21-day course, and it's called 21 Days to Opening and Accelerating Your Psychic Abilities. 
So if you're interested in opening your psychic abilities, because we all have those abilities, if you want to learn how to use them and how to open them, to use them in your lives and trusting your intuition, which is awesome for you, um, and to connecting to the spirit realm as well, um, you can join me for 21 days inside of a Facebook group where I'm going to be doing videos every single day, short little videos and exercises that you can do to open and accelerate your psychic ability. So even if you are psychic already, how to get stronger, what exercises to do, and also a lot of practicing on each other, um, you know, if you're ready for that. So, um, if you're interested in that, I'm so excited to be doing it. We start December 1st. So registration closes on November 30th. So if you're interested, you can click the link in the description box or in the comments below to join us for this fun little, you know, 21 days before the year ends to start 2020 with your psychic abilities nice and strong to use that in the upcoming year. All right. So much love to you. I hope to see you in there. It is again in the in the description box and comments below. Much love to you. Trust your intuition, like be proud of yourself and just feel yourself and, you know, be the empress. Be that empress energy. Just know that you are love, you are light, and that you got the star card. So much love. Have a wonderful rest of the month, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.